Hi, welcome to Real Estate Talk with Deb and Ro. So relationship saving strategies for buyers. <laughs> is exciting. Arguing while buying that house? Not so much. Nope. Here are some strategies that help you when you're buying a home. Before you and your partner start sending each other links to your dream home, it's important to have meaningful conversations before you meet us, your realtors. Talk about your expectations and of course, make sure that you are on the same page when you talk about budget, right? Can't be in two opposite directions. Right. Um, buying a house can reveal relationship problems, no doubt. It's very stressful. It's one of the biggest financial transactions you'll ever do. It's gonna bring up lots of emotions, many expectations of what you each want in a house. Uh, so make sure you listen to each other and make sure you give each other the respect of being open to the other person's ideas. Right. Do scenario planning. Sit down and talk this out with your partner uh, because moving into a new home can change life's routines. Um, as an example, who walks the dog? Uh, are they gonna wanna walk the dog up two flights of stairs? If they buy a townhouse. If they buy a townhouse, right. Um, who does the grocery shopping? Are they going to want to lug groceries up two flights of stairs? If they buy a townhouse. If they buy a townhouse. <laughs> um, <laughs> who takes care of the lawn? How are they going to feel about mowing a massive lawn? If you buy a house on two acres. If you buy a house. <laughs> right. I mean, the examples are extreme, but you know what I'm getting at. You need to talk out even those smaller things. Um, think. What is it going to physically be like living in that property every day? Right. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Also, recognize that you're a team, okay? It's you, your partner, and your realtor. Uh, a realtor can bring in another perspective, so always have a discussion with them. We are the McLaughlin and Summer team from Century 21 Redwood in Ashburn. Please like and subscribe.